Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can restore a bricked Shelly Plug S. This is a really popular smart plug and uh, power monitoring device. And um, the popular thing to do with these is to flash them with the Tesmota firmware. Uh, but if you do that uh, and something goes wrong, uh, then you'll have a plug that basically does nothing, is bricked. Um, Luckily, there is a way to uh, to restore these without tossing them and buying a new one. Um, and I'm going to show you how. Um, you will need a couple of tools for this. Um, I'm going to use a flipper zero here, but this is not necessary. You can use a basic uh, 343 um, TT, TTL adapter. Um, you're also going to need some DuPont cables. These are really cheap. Um, you'll need five of them and you're gonna need a computer of course uh, with uh, some tools on it I'm going to show you how you can do this on a Mac uh, put the steps on Windows and um, uh, and Linux should be uh, fairly similar okay so to start what you need to do is uh, take the shelly plug and uh, turn it around and you will see a screw in there um, you need to loosen that up and once you do that the top comes off like this I already did so so let's put this aside now you can see inside the Shelly plug here um, this purple thing is uh, for heat dissipation of the ESP chip there's our uh, ESP8266 and um, uh, just to the left of that, you can see a couple of headers. And this is what we are going to connect our DuPont cables to. Um, so I'm going to show you a picture on the screen of the pinout. Uh, just connect those to your, uh, to your adapter. And uh, once you've done that, uh, we'll move on to the next step. I have now connected everything up and uh, we're ready to uh, connect the shell device to our computer. Um, on the flipper here, I've selected the uh, GPIO application on the USB to UART bridge. And uh, I've not connected uh, 3 volt 3 yet, so I'm going to do that now. You'll see that some lights will come on. Um, what you can do after uh, the lights have come on is disconnect GPIO 0 here. And then we should be ready to start the ESP, uh, ESP tool on our computer. So let's do that now. For the next step, we're going to need ESP tool. ESP tool is a free utility to interface with uh, ESP devices. And it's a pip install away. So uh, you will need Python and pip installed on your system. Um, not going to go through uh, on how to do that. Uh, but once you have these things sorted out, just type pip install ESP tool and you should be ready to run the ESP tool and flash the Shelly plug. This is the command you're going to need to run. Uh, one thing you will need to change for sure is the path to the USB serial adapter. For me, it's uh, tty.usb modem flip and, and the name of my flipper. Uh, but for you, it's going to be something else. Um, one trick you can do on Macs is uh, type uh, slash dev slash tty.usb and then just hit the tab key. If you only have one USB uh, serial device connected, then it's going to autofill it for you. Otherwise it will present you with a list of possible options. Then we need to just give it some parameters for ESP tool to know what's going on. And then a path to a new firmware file. Um, this firmware file you can download from GitHub. I'm going to leave a link in the description, of course. And um, I just grabbed the latest test mode that have been here and that should work fine for our purposes. But if you're flashing a different ESP device with a smaller uh, memory, then you might want to select something else. Uh, however, for the Shelly Plug S, this is totally fine. Um, I'm going to hit enter here and you will see some stuff flashing on the screen, including a writing ad. And if you see this, then that means that you connected your, your uh, Shelly Plug S correctly and everything is going fine. And if you look on the flipper display, then you will see that uh, you will be sending a lot of bytes.
After that, you will see hard resetting via RTS pin and your uh, Shelly Plug S device uh, has now been flashed. You will not see it on your uh, Wi-Fi list yet. Um, what we need to do now is uh, uh, plug everything uh, back up and uh, uh, plug it into the wall and see what happens. So here's our little setup. What we can do is just jank these cables out here and put this aside. Then grab the top here. Uh, but before you uh, uh, put that back in, uh, be sure to grab our little heat pad here and put that in like so. And then we're ready to uh, to put this cover back on. If you're unsure as to which way, uh, this this hole here should match up with the with the screw hole. Um, so that means this way. And then just uh, screw it back in and plug it into the wall. There we go. The device has now been plugged in. And um, if you go to the Wi-Fi settings on your device, you should, should see a new Tesmoda network. Go ahead and connect to it and connect it to your own Wi-Fi network. And then don't forget to do power calibration on, uh, on, on your Tesmoda device. Um, well, that's been it. Uh, I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, uh, just leave a, uh, uh, a comment and uh, I or someone else uh, will try our best to help you out. Uh, thanks for watching if you have been and see you next time.